Grace, if you can hear me, I'm asking if the fire has been brought under control at this particular point in time. Yes, Lord, I can hear you. If, the, if you can also hear me, I'm saying that what is going to ha happen here is that all parliamentary activities have been brought to a halt because of the fire outbreak. Now, the fire has affected, the briefing we get from the fire service is that the fire has affected just an office in the second floor of the job 600. Initially, there were reports that two or three offices might have been affected, but we just got a briefing from the Retaka Regional Commander of the Fire Service, and she tells us that it is only an office that has been affected. That notwithstanding, everybody in the building has been evacuated to be on the compound, and it looks like all the other activities and settings that were scheduled today will not happen, because we just saw the chairman of the committee that was sitting today, and Honorable Okujeto Ablaka just did us good by saying that it is likely the sitting will not happen. The Works and Housing Ministry that was also expected to appear before the committee, we just saw the minister, Kujo mm. Fonkoma, also leave us now. So it looks like and nothing is going to happen today because of the severity of the fire. Currently, I see four fire tenders here, and it doesn't look like the firefighters are having an easy job with the fire, though they tell us it is just a building. I see a lot of holes being brought in and a lot of, there, a lot of running around going on. It doesn't look like they are having an easy time bringing the fire under control. Grace, talk to us about the accessibility to this office for these fire officials. Does it look like, because of the, fact, the point you raised as well, that they are not having it easy, does it look like they have a clear sight at this fire to be able to put it out? Minor, it, it doesn't look like they have. A, they, they, it doesn't look like accessibility is very easy for them because you see some of the fire tenders going and then coming. You see them dragging holes from one point to the other and then changing direction and all. So it doesn't look like it is accessibility is very easy for them here um, at the second floor of the job 600 building. So as I'm speaking to you now, I see some some of the firemen dragging holes from the part of the building that has not been affected and bringing it to the part that has been affected. We don't know why they are doing that, but the indication is that they are not having an easy time bringing the fire under control. And still, uh, it looks like that one office is still burning at this particular point in time. Yes. What it, what it even looks like is that the fire is spreading because one of the fire, all the, one of the fire tenders has just moved from where all, all of them are to another part of the building. And now the men are gathering around it to, to, um, to get it working. So it looks like the fire might be spreading from where they are trying to contain it to another um, part of the building. And, and just based on what you're saying right now, that the possibility of it spreading to other parts, you mentioned the Great Accra Regional Fire Commander being present. Is he giving this indication that it may be something that they'll require a lot more hands to, to deal with as, as you're reporting? Yes, that was a question I personally asked her, and she told us it looks like they might need reinforcement to, to help them tackle the fire. And so they have called for two more fire tenders to make it and um, to bring the number to six so that they are able to contain. It she tells us because the office that has been gutted is a storeroom, there are a lot of combustible materials there. And so they are flaming and helping in the flaming of the fire. That is why it is becoming a bit difficult for them to control it, though it is just one office that has been gutted. All right, then, Grace, uh, thank you for those details. That's my colleague, Grace Amuajiman, uh, providing details. Says the fire service on the ground are asking for reinforcement. Uh, what she says today appears the fire might be spreading to other parts of the, uh, of the Job 600 building, hence uh, a need for reinforcements. The regional commander, the Great Accra regional commander who's present, has been telling them that uh, there are a lot of combustible materials in that particular storeroom, making it a tad bit difficult to bring the fire under control. But that's the latest at this particular point in time. Part of the Job 600 building in Parliament uh, on fire. The second floor, we understand, but the fire service having a difficult time to be able to bring uh, that particular fire under control. Four tenders currently on the premises of Parliament seeking to deal with the fire situation. Reinforcements being called for, but that's the latest. 
a bit more for you here on TV3 if you stay with us for the next, what, 36 plus minutes, 45 minutes, where New Central will bring you exclusive details as to what it is that's been happening in Parliament. I am Marwin Beta.